if you want something out of life, if you want to change yourself, if you want to acquire something, if there's some goal that you want to reach, that is really not easy as some people will make us feel. That living your dream, changing your behaviors, overcoming negative habits, it's challenging, it's hard. But once we begin to come to grips with the fact that living is difficult, life is very challenging. Spend more time on yourself than what you've been spending. Many of us never realize our greatness because we become sidetracked by secondary activity. We spread ourselves too thin, don't know how to say no. And we find ourselves doing all kinds of things and never ever have time to do those things that we need to do to work on ourselves. And then there goes a second, there goes another second, there goes another second and we can't stop and hold time. And before you know it, you wake up one day and you're behind in your dreams. So decide that you're gonna take some time to work on you, that you deserve that. Working on yourself, talking to yourself, that's so very important. Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue that's going on all the time, all the time. And so learning how to empower yourself, part of doing that is standing up to yourself. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up! Working on yourself, watching that inner dialogue, it will determine the quality of your life. Knowing that if we begin to live our lives as if each day were our last, our lives will take on a whole new meaning. When you're working on something you want to achieve, you have got to stand up to that voice. You've got to sell yourself every day on your abilities, on what you're doing, on the goal that you want to reach. You've got to sell yourself every day, every day, every day to achieve a certain objective. Telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. Whatever we have right now, whatever we're demonstrating in our lives, is a result of what we believe subconsciously that we deserve. And part of increasing that belief level is that you have got to convince yourself every day. When you, when you have something you want to do, if you don't develop the courage to do that which has been given you to do, and you spend a lot of time going around trying to convince other people or trying to get their approval, what will happen is that you will lose your nerve and other people will convince you that what you're doing doesn't have any value and you'll give up on your dream. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of, of setting standards that others will be measured by. Do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. It's easy to be negative today. It is easy to have low morale today. But if you can begin to harness yourself and say that where I am, I'm going to do the best I can with what I got because that is an expression of who I am. If you get into the habit of just being mediocre, it will become a part of your consciousness. If you get in the habit of giving less than what you have it within you to give, it will begin to reflect itself in your personality. It will begin to damage you psychologically. And you don't want to be a part of that kind of self-destructive behavior. And so you want to set some high standards for yourself. You've got to develop a sense of urgency Stop living your life like you have a thousand years to live. In life, you're either here today and you're gone today. If there's something that you want to do and you can't do it all at one time, do just a little bit of it. Stop wasting valuable time. Honor yourself as your word. Don't give your word out lightly. When you throw your word out there and you don't honor it, it makes a statement about you. If you decide to maintain a sense of integrity with yourself, that if I speak it, I'm going to live it, and I'm going to be very cautious in how I give my word to others, and most of all with the commitments that I make to myself, because I want my life to reflect my words. Learning how to concentrate, learning how to focus in, and you'll be surprised of the things that you're able to do. You'll be surprised of the ideas that will come to you, of the people that you'll be able to attract, of the opportunities that you'll be able to see. You'll begin to see things that have been standing there looking you in the face saying, I can't believe this has been here all this time. One idea can change your life. One idea can turn your life around. 
deciding that you're going to focus to develop your skills. The guy was the new owner of a team, a team, a baseball team that was in the basement of the league when he took it over. He went to the pitcher and he said, what is your best throw? And he said, well, I got a good curveball and I've got a good fastball. And he went on talking about his different throws. He said, but tell me this, what is your best throw? He said, I, I've got a good fastball. He said, that's all I want you to work on. Nothing else. Just develop your fastball. The next year, they went to the World Series. Most people don't know where their fastball is. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities, but if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places if you develop your gifts. Most of us don't like to do those things that come easy to us. You have something that you brought to the universe. And that if you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well and becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me, if you decide to drop your buckets where you are and develop your gifts, I grant you, you'll never ever be without. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. I grant you that if you begin to work to develop your gifts, you'll develop a strong sense of happiness. You'll get a larger vision of yourself because part of beginning to get a larger vision of yourself, all of us need some area of our lives where we can have a feeling of competence. In this era of accelerated change, overwhelming complexity and tremendous competition, as you begin to develop and expand your skills and your talents and your vision of yourself, you will always be in control of your destiny. To hold on in spite of everything, the power to endure, this is the winner's quality. The hunger, the ability to face defeat again and again without giving up, this is a winner's quality. You have that quality within you. There's greatness in you. If you want something, you have got to be relentless. You've got to learn how to become resourceful. You've got to learn how to become creative. When crises strike in your life, and this is an opportunity for you to grow. And you've got to be so relentless, regardless of what comes down the pipe, that you're always looking for a way to get over, always looking for a way that you can break through, always looking for a way that you can win, always looking for a way that you can strike a telling blow. You are unstoppable. Live your life with passion, with some drive. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for it, you've got to do whatever is necessary until. And when you give the best you can and that's not enough, you must do what is required. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. At the end of pain is success. You're not going to die because you're feeling a little pain. There is a lot of things in life that are different. And you have to ask yourself the question right off the top. You know, are you going to be one of those guys that are going to go and back off every time something is difficult? Or do you want to be one of those guys that says, look, it doesn't matter if it's easy or difficult or most difficult. I'm going to go and crush through it. That's me. That's the person that I want to be. And I'm going to prove it to myself and I'm going to prove it to the rest of the world. Get better. There isn't any of us that can't get better. So turn on this whole idea of personal development and personal growth. I'm telling you, for things to get better, you got to get better. Don't ask for it to change out there. Ask for you to change here. Don't ask for a more favorable wind. We call that naive. Don't ask for better seed, better soil. This is the only planet you got. Just ask that you can get wiser and stronger and better and be able to take care of your own responsibilities. Get better. Learn how to handle the seasons better. Let's go through them. Just get better at handling the winters. You can't change the winter. You can't change the seasons. But you can change yourself. You can get wiser and stronger and better. Just make a list of that trio of words, wiser, stronger, better.